Hi everyone, my name's Abby Lyons and I'm going to show you how to play No Body No Crime by Taylor Swift on the ukulele. If you're a patron then you can download the lead sheet and also use the play along video to practice the whole song. Also, I just got this ukulele and I feel like it's perfect for this song so I'm really excited about this. <laughs> and um, if you want a ukulele like this, I'm going to leave a link in the description. Apparently they're selling a lot of these, especially in the red color. For the holidays so check it out if you are interested so we're gonna be in a different key from the original we're gonna be a whole step higher and this is because there are easier chords to play in this key and also because it's a little bit of a better vocal range as well the original key is a little bit low so this is gonna be easier to play and to sing so we have seven chords in this song they're all down here if you already know them then feel free to skip ahead our first chord is a minor you're going to put your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and here's A minor. Then our next chord is F. You're going to put your first finger on the first fret of the second string, and second finger on the second fret of the fourth string. Here's F. Then our next chord is G. You're going to put your first finger on the second fret of the third string, second finger on the second fret of the first string, and your third finger on the third fret of the second string. Here's G. Then we have D minor. You're going to put your first finger on the first fret of the second string, second finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and your third finger on the second fret of the third string. Here's D minor. Then we have C. You're going to put your third finger on the third fret of the first string, and here's C. Then we have E minor. You're going to put your first finger on the second fret of the first string, second finger on the third fret of the second string, and your third finger on the fourth fret of the third string. Here's E minor. And then our last chord is E7. You're going to put your first finger on the first fret of the fourth string, second finger on the second fret of the third string, and your third finger on the second fret of the first string. Here's E7. So those are all of our chords. We're going to be using the same strumming pattern throughout the whole song. We're going to do down, 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 down up. Here's what that sounds like on A minor. We have down, 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 up. And if you want an extra challenge, you can do an accent on that third down. So it'll be down, 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 up. It's a little bit louder on the accent. So here's that in the strumming pattern. We have down, 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 up. Sometimes you guys ask me if I'm playing the strumming patterns a little different and sometimes there are little accents, so that's why I wanted to throw it in there. Just do the accent if you want to. <laughs> so first we're going to learn how to play the verse. The first half of our chord progression is down below. We're going to be playing A minor, then F, then G, and D minor. And then that much repeats, so A minor, F, G, and D minor. So let's try that much with the strumming pattern. We're going to play down, 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 up on each chord. So here it is. We have A minor, F, G, D minor, and repeat, A minor. F, G, and D minor. So then the second half of our verse chord progression is A minor, C, G, and D minor. And then we have A minor, C, and G. And you'll notice there's a little slash on that last G chord. That means that we're going to just strum one time and then hold that chord for four beats. So here's the second half of the verse with the strumming pattern. 
we have A minor, C, G, D minor, then A minor, C, and one strum G. So that is the whole verse chord progression. Now I'm going to sing through it with the words so that you can hear what it sounds like. Estes, a friend of mine. We meet up every Tuesday night for dinner and a glass of wine. Estes, been losing sleep. Her husband's acting different and it smells like infidelity. She says, that ain't my Merlot on his mouth. That ain't my jewelry on our joint account. No, there ain't no doubt. I think I'm gonna call him out. Now we're gonna learn how to play the chorus. The first part of our chord progression is down below. We're gonna be playing A minor, then D minor, then F, and G. Then that repeats A minor, D minor, F, and G. So let's play that much with the strumming pattern. We have A minor, D minor, F, G, repeat, A minor, D minor, F, and G. Then in the next part of our chord progression, we have A minor, D minor, C, and G. Then we have A minor, D minor, and then we're gonna have just one strum on this last G chord. So let's play this much now with the strum. So we have A minor, D minor, C, and G, then A minor, D minor, and one strum, two, three, Four. And then we have a little post chorus and we have the same chord progression that we had in the start of the verse. We're going to play it two times in a row. We have that A minor, F, G, D minor, and repeat A minor, F, G, and D minor. And so this is the whole chorus. Now here it is with the words so you can hear what it sounds like. I think he did it, but I just can't prove it. I think he did it, but I just can't prove it. I think he did it, but I just can't prove it. No, nobody, no crime, but I ain't letting up until the day I die. No, no. I think he did it, no, no, he did it. Then the last section we're going to learn is the bridge. The first part of the chord progression is down below. We're going to be playing two times on D minor, then two times on A minor, then again two times D minor, two times A minor. So here's that much with the strum. We have D minor and A minor. Repeat D minor and A minor. Then in the next part of our chord progression, we're gonna play two times on E minor and then two times on A minor. Then we'll play two times on D minor. And then we're gonna do one strum on E7 and hold. So here's that much with the strumming pattern. We have E minor, then A minor, then D minor, and E7. So that's the whole bridge progression. Here it is now with the words. Good thing my daddy made me get a voting license when I was 15. And I've cleaned enough houses to know how to cover up a scene. 
Good thing Esty's sister's gonna swear she was with me. Good thing his mistress took out a big life insurance policy. And that's how you play No Body No Crime by Taylor Swift. If you liked this video, please give it a like and please subscribe to the channel. I'm planning to make a full book of lead sheets for all of the songs from the Evermore album, just like I did for Folklore, and share that over on Patreon. So if you're interested, please come join us over there. And this may possibly be my last video for the year. I'm not sure yet. I'm planning to go home this Thursday for Christmas. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna post anymore, but maybe I'll get inspired and do like one other little thing. But anyway, I just wanted to say thank you for the year. It's been really fun on YouTube. And I'm gonna see you in January. I'm gonna start doing a 15 day songwriting challenge the 1st of January to the 15th. So videos every day in a row and it's gonna be all about how to write songs. So I will see you in the new year or maybe before or maybe maybe before or maybe in the new year. So thank you for watching and see you then. <laughs> Bye.